In this video, we will discuss what is wire arc additive manufacturing, which is also known as WAAM, that is WAM. So here you can see a diagram which is showing the process of wire arc additive manufacturing. So it uses the existing welding processes to deposit a material layer by layer. So before understanding wire arc additive manufacturing, we will understand what is additive manufacturing because it is a type of additive manufacturing. So Additive manufacturing. Additive manufacturing is a technique where structure are produced by adding and depositing a material in a layer upon layer manner. So in additive manufacturing we deposit the material layer by layer so as to get the final component. Rather than removing the material, additive manufacturing process makes three dimensional parts directly from the CAD model by adding the material layer by layer. So uh, we can classify the manufacturing process in two category that is subtractive manufacturing and additive manufacturing. Subtractive manufacturing is your conventional process where we, do, where we remove the material from the existing block so as to get a final component. So for that purpose we use lath, milling or some other machines and with the help of those machines we remove the material from the block so as to get a final component whereas in additive manufacturing we deposit a material in a layer by layer fashion so as to get a final component so that is a difference in between additive and subtractive manufacturing so in additive manufacturing first of all we have to develop a CAD model then that CAD model is transferred to the robot uh, for the deposition of material so uh, with uh, by using that CAD model the robotic software will generate a part program for for depositing the material and robo will follow that part program and deposit a material layer by layer so here you can see the process of additive manufacturing so in case of additive manufacturing there will be one nozzle and the material is in the form of uh, wire and then it is get deposited layer by layer so as to get a component like this so this is your additive manufacturing now wire arc additive manufacturing so wire arc additive manufacturing is a type of your additive manufacturing so the warm is mostly used in modern industries like aerospace industries so this in uh, this concept is new and it is mostly used in aerospace industry. It uses existing welding equipment, electric arc as an energy source and welding wire as a feedstock. So with this diagram you can understand what exactly the wire arc additive manufacturing. So we can perform this manufacturing process with your existing welding setup with the existing welding processes like GMAW that is gas metal arc welding process then GTAW that is gas tungsten arc welding process or PAW that is plasma arc welding process so with these three processes we can deposit the material in layer by layer fashion so basically the welding process is, uh, welding process is the joining process but here we are using the welding process for deposition of material so uh, here uh, you can see this is a G GMAW torch that means it will have a wire in form of uh, it will have the electrode in form of the wire which is continuously being supplied and that uh, there, there will be the generation of arc initially there will be a generation of arc in between the substrate and that uh, electrode wire and then due to the generation of arc the wire get melted and it will get deposited so you can deposit it layer by layer and depending on uh, the welding parameter like current uh, voltage wire feed speed travel speed you can get the width of this wall so this is the process of wire arc additive manufacturing where we are using the existing welding process to deposit the material those uh, welding processes are well defined and with the help of those welding processes we can deposit the material so first of all we have to develop a CAD model of it that CAD model is being transferred to your robotic software based on that CAD model the robot will generate its program for deposition of the material now while the material deposition rate is 2 to 10 gram per minute in laser based method so uh, uh, you can perform the additive manufacturing with different sources so if you use a laser source for melting the material suppose you have the material in form of powder and you are using laser source 
for melting that material and then depositing that material in that case the deposition rate is 2 to 10 gram per minute whereas with with wire arc additive manufacturing you can reach the deposition rate to 50 to 130 gram per minute so this is the biggest advantage of your wire arc wire arc additive manufacturing where you can deposit the material with high deposition rate in addition warm is less costly as you are using your existing welding processes and these welding equipments are uh, very cheaper as compared to your laser laser or electron beam sources so it is a very uh, uh, it, it is a very uh, less costly process then material handling efficiency reaches to 100 percent in terms of wire material deposition on the part so here we are depositing the material which is in the form of wire and we are using some electric source to melt that wire so we can use 100 percent material there is no vestige of material whereas in other cases there may be some vestige of material so this is also the second biggest advantage of this wire arc additive manufacturing so here you can see the component which is deposited by this warm process now uh, again we will understand the uh, warm process in detail so it uses the wire uh, as a fed stock so the material is in the form of wire then electric arc as a heat source so as we are using different welding processes to melt that wire so your electric arc is used as a heat source then it adds the material layer by layer so with the help of that arc we will melt the material and then we will deposit that material then the motion can be provided either by robotic system or computer numerical controlled gantries so either you can use a uh, a robot to deposit the material or you can use your existing CNC machine you can modify that CNC machine and at the spindle you can you can attach the welding torch and you can use the the motion of CNC machine along X Y and Z axis to deposit the material so here you can see the robotic wire arc additive manufacturing process so this is nothing but your six axis robot and at the end effector you can see here the welding torch and then this is your power source here we are using CMT that is nothing but an advanced form of your GMAW process which is known as cold metal transfer welding process its benefit is uh, it deposits the material at very low heat input so that is the benefit of your CMT machine so the arc is generated in between this electrode tip and the substrate and then you can deposit the material so as to get your final product so here you can see this is nothing but your additively manufactured structure then this is the uh, CNC a CNC machine is used here to deposit the material so here you can see a vertical CNC machine so this is the table which will have X and Y axis motion and this is the spindle which will have Z axis motion so spindle is replaced by your welding torch and you can deposit the material now the process parameter so the first parameter that is wire feed speed so if you are using gmaw process then the electrode is in the form of wire and it is continuously supplied through your welding gun so at what rate you are supplying the wire wire that is nothing but wire feed speed and this will decide the the breadth of the 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 breadth as the width as well as the height of the uh, the particular layer so wire feed speed then the travel speed by what speed you are moving the welding torch that is nothing but travel speed the speed of the base speed of the bead relative to the surface and typically it is controlled by the speed of the torch then current and voltage so in in any welding process the current and voltage that plays very important role so automatically adjusted depending on the wire feed speed to produce a suitable arc of the correct energy and length of the length for the welding so there are four basic parameter that is nothing but your wire feed speed travel speed current and voltage now classification so you can classify your wire arc additive manufacturing based on the heat source so the first heat source we can use that is gmaw gas metal arc welding process and uh, uh, the cold metal transfer welding is an is nothing but a modified process of your gas metal arc welding process 
then the second method that is gtaw gas tungsten arc welding process and then plasma arc welding that is paw so with these three processes you can uh, deposit the material by using wire arc additive manufacturing now we will discuss one by one method in detail so the very first process that is gmaw so it is a commonly used process consumable wire electrode so here whatever electrode we are using that is in the form of wire and it is continuously supplied so here you can see this is nothing but the electrode and uh, it is conti the the electrode is in the form of wire and uh, you have to purchase a spool and that wire is continuously supplied through the welding gun and then the arc is generated in between your existing bead and the electrode so as to deposit the material then typical deposition rate so uh, in this process we are getting highest deposition rate that is 3 to 4 kg per hour so up to 4 kg uh, per hour we can deposit the material the the disadvantage of this process that is poor arc stability as the electrode we are continuously supplying it and it is consuming so poor arc stability is there uh, then the there is a problem of spatter but this we can eliminate with the help of modified process that is cold metal transfer welding process then this is suitable for uh, for the deposition of aluminium and steel and then in case of titanium arc wandering is the problem then gtaw process so in gtaw we are using non consumable electrode that is tungsten electrode in GMAW we are using a consumable electrode whereas in GTAW we are using the electrode which is non-consumable in nature which is tungsten and hence the additional filler is required. So your arc is generated in between the tungsten electrode and the workpiece and additionally we, are, we have to supply the filler material so as to deposit the material. So separate wire feed process then uh, its deposition rate is uh, less as compared to your GMAW process here you will get the deposition rate that is 1 to 2 kg per hour then wire and torch rotation are needed. So here we have to control two parameter that is your electrode as well as wire feed. So this is somewhat complicated process and it is beneficial for depositing titanium then plasma arc welding process with this process also we can deposit the material so here again we we can use a non-consumable electrode that is tungsten uh, and again we have to separate a separate filler material here the deposition rate is 2 to 4 kg per hour so here also we are getting good deposition rate uh, again we have to here also we have to control two different parameter that is the torch as well as the filler material so again uh, the programming of this method is complicated and this process is suitable for depositing the titanium now what are the various material that we can deposit with warm that is titanium alloy aluminium alloys and steel nickel base alloy magnesium alloy and bimetals that means Two different alloy that also we can deposit so we can uh, we can manufacture functionally graded material with the help of this process then what are the benefits of fire arc additive manufacturing first one that is capital cost so you can use your existing setup or the welding equipments which are uh, which are uh, which are very uh, very less costly as compared to your other equipment so the capital cost is very less then open architecture so there is no need of any vacuum or uh, uh, anything in case of your wire arc additive manufacturing you can perform it in open atmosphere simply you have to use the shielding gases uh, only that much requirement is there then part size you can deposit a large component even people have deposited a component which is having length up to 6 meter so you can deposit large uh, component with the help of this process then deposition rate so you can achieve high deposition rate with this process whereas it is not possible by other additive manufacturing process then the reduce post machining time so after deposition uh, depositing the material we have to machine it so as to get a final component and uh, very less material we have to remove from that component so post machining time is very less and then we can deposit a complex geometry with this process only you have to program that component and you can deposit any complex geometry with this process 
then what are the common defect of this process so the first one that is deformation and residual stresses so as you are you we are using here uh, welding process for a deposition so uh, it is common in the welding process that is deformation and the residual stresses so here also uh, uh, we can uh, we can observe the deformation and the residual stresses in the component deposited by this process then the porosity this is also one kind of welding defect and same defect you can observe in wire arc, wire arc additive manufacturing then the occurrence of crack delamination means uh, when you are depositing the material the component may get collapse or you 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 do not get exact geometry then oxidation so if the shielding is not proper then there is a problem of oxidation and we are not getting a good surface finish as compared to other process so machining is required now the applications so the common application that is nothing but your aerospace industry people have dep uh, deposited various components which are used in aeroplane with the help of this process then automotive industry uh, marine industry architecture and tools so these are some common applications of wire arc additive manufacturing so thank you so much for watching this video thank you